investment is a significant variable in the discussions of economic theory. So we are going to do its dynamic analysis here by using the first order differential equation, which is a type of overall differential equations. So a numerical can help us to understand it in a good way. So here we have the statement of this numerical. A principal of $60 is invested. So we have the principal, that is the investment. And the value IT, that is the investment, is a function over time. In t days later, satisfies the differential equation. So this is the rate of growth or change of investment over time. And it is a first order differential equation. And we have extracted it here. So what we are required is the value of the investment if the initial level of investment is this. So we have the initial condition as well. So using this initial condition, we can get to the definite solution. So um, a, we should remember the standard form. It is this. So here you can see only a constant is appearing on the right hand side. Here we have a variable term, so we should transfer it to the left hand side and now it is comparable with the standard form of the differential equation. Value here extracted is A and then this is B and this is this. So instead of I we have instead of Y we have I variable which is investment dy over dt is replaced with di over dt we have a numerical value of A that we have extracted, the value of B is extracted, and initial condition is also there, and its numerical value is available. So now we are ready for the selection of the differential equation solution. Um, we see that B is non-zero, which means that we are dealing with a non-homogeneous case. Now we have to see the value of A, which is again non-zero. This means that A is not equal to 0 in this non-homogeneous case, which implies that the definite solution will have this formula. We remember this from our previous discussions. And these are the values that need to be substituted. So I have uh, put them in a box or I have underlined them. Now you can easily see the values of B and A, they are substituted wherever they were to be substituted. So th after this, uh, we can simply solve these um, expressions, which are definitely uh, an easy thing to do because this is simple algebra that we have been doing uh, for a very long time now. And finally, the time path would be there. And this is the time path. This definitely will be the complementary function of the investment. And this should be the particular integral part of the um, investment function. So this uh, definite time path is now developed because there is no arbitrary constant in it. So we have a definite time path. As I said before that this is IC and this is IP. Now we can make uh, um, a kind of graph with it and for graph we need to make a table. So th this is what we did because the complementary function is based on time and the whole time path is based on the complementary function itself and the equilibrium. So we can easily develop a table in which we have chosen the values from 0 to 10 and when we put 0 here we get this value and so on. So we are putting the various values of t and we are getting various values of ic. These are all values of IC. The phenomenon here is that the value is decreasing. If I say the absolute or magnitude, absolute value of the magnitude, it is decreasing, which is a good sign because we want the deviation to decrease so that we merge or converge towards the equilibrium. Here, the phenomenon is uh, 
uh, also visible because when we add the deviation in the equilibrium value it will reduce it because it's a negative deviation and the value uh, is um, here So you can see that in the beginning it was 2000 and now it is increasing it has become 2009. It means that we are getting close to the equilibrium which is 2500. So as we will go ahead we will travel more and more and we will come to close to the equilibrium. So this is uh, now making sense that the time path is increasing that is rising and will converge towards the equilibrium the value of which is 2500 and there is a negative deviation because all of these values are negative and they are uh, depicting the deviation and there is a decay over time as the value is declining so as the time passes the deviation will approach to zero and when the deviation approaches to zero there will be a convergence of the time path towards the equilibrium. Now graphically we can visualize this. This is the value of equilibrium and definitely it is a static equilibrium that is why the line is a straight line and uh, this is the starting point the initial condition from where we started and this value is rising the time path as you saw it was increasing and it is increasing and rising as it is mentioned in the remarks and then it is definitely converging so this is that part which is uh, the deviation which we represented with IC this is IP so deviation is mitigating over time and finally we can say that we are converging towards the equilibrium so in this uh, application what we saw is there was an investment function the dynamics of which we wanted to find out and for that we rearranged it extracted the values of the variables involved or the constants and coefficients chose the suitable case of the differential equations and then solved it by putting the values in the formula and then we made a table and also saw that the convergence is taking place in a numerical way and then we finally plotted a graph that uh, puts a stamp of validity on our findings that we did before so the straight line is equilibrium and the deviation is represented with IC which is decreasing over time and that's why the time path rises and converges towards the equilibrium so this was the application in a numerical way of the first order differential equations on investment function. Thank you.